Mechanic was always the odd one out when it came to train simulators. It had the first-person perspective much earlier than anything of comparable quality. This would have been around 1990 or so that they released the first one. It was Polish, which also made it very unusual. And I have always had a lot of trouble doing a playthrough of it, even for myself, even to just experiment with it, because it's very hard to find a version that will run on a modern computer. Here I'm running it on DOSBox, which you can see because I could only get the full screen to display properly if I decided to display the whole window instead of the inner window. You'll see in a minute the other problems with this particular build, which happens to be French. So it's got French menus and everything else that you probably noticed earlier. And the track ends <laughs> eventually. Apparently a lot of people are still developing for this simulator though, because it impressed so many people even, you know, up to pretty recent times, that the fact that it's so old and you can kind of see it in the graphics doesn't bother everybody. Some people are still building trains for it, some people are still building tracks. I mean, if they're building tracks, well, I guess you'd have to figure out how to run them, because as I said, just getting this to run has been difficult, and it doesn't even run 100%. But I think that's down to age, because nobody considered this a buggy program when it was new. Here I'm driving the default Polish EMU that they give you. Soon after we get out of this tunnel, the speed limit will go up to 110 kilometers per hour. And then the track ends. <laughs> Which, I don't know why that is. Unfortunately, this is the best version I could throw together for this. I've moved on to more modern simulators, of course, and the older ones that I like, like Rail Sim and so on, are a little bit less buggy, even if they're actually much less realistic than this, to be honest. So the end of the track comes after this row of trees on the right. And then I'm going to have to end this very, very short playthrough. But in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll have more of these vintage, you can call them that, train simulators over the coming days.